This is Jay Arthur. Sometimes you create a worksheet and you want to be able to protect certain cells in it so that people don't make, <laughs> screw it up somehow. And so what we want to do is find a way to protect worksheet cells. So over here we have uh, places where we input data, so axis labels and chart data. And over here we have something we can change. But maybe we don't want the rest of this stuff to change. For example, there's some formulas back behind all this charting that we wouldn't want people to go fooling around with or make a mistake or accidentally delete or something like that. So how do you go about formatting and protecting a sheet? So first of all, I want to select this entire both columns there. So I just click on B and A there. And then I can just right click on that and say Format Cells. And that'll bring up the Format Cell option, and you can change numbers and alignments and fonts and borders and fill. But the last one out here is protection. And so what we want to do is uncheck the locked button. We want those neither locked nor hidden. Click OK. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do the same thing over here. Format cells. When you right click on a cell, it'll bring up all of your options for what you can do with that cell or column or row or whatever. And I just wanted to format cells. All right. You could also access that from up here. So you can click on Format, Format Cells. Now that we've actually taken all of those in and unchecked the uh, locked option, we can click Protect Sheet. And you can actually put in a password if you want people to be able to not unprotect your sheet. And we want to select Lock Cells, Hidden Cells. We just click OK. And so now that's going to allow us to put in more data here. But it's not going to allow us to do anything to that particular cell. It's going to have it show it as protected. All right. So that's a great way to protect cells in a worksheet so that people can't make mistakes and mess up your, your worksheet. And so this is an example from the QI macros of fill in the blank templates and we very often have people who want to use these in a production environment and guess what? They don't want the people that are out there on the line to make mistakes with the formulas that are in the worksheet itself. You can also unprotect the sheet later on. So we can either have password protection or not. That's how easy it can be to protect and unprotect a sheet in Microsoft Excel.